Hey there, survivors. Cougar here, checking out the new Breath Edge game. The first episode, anyway. First chapter. Uh, tried it out a little bit. Let's start a new game on standard mode. And uh, just check it out. Uh, these are going to be bite-sized episodes. You know, I, I usually like to present about an hour's worth of uh, gameplay at a time. But I think we're going to keep this to like a half hour or so. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. From the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news lately. I don't even understand that. 22 awards some other games received. Searching for this font took up half the development time. Director isn't needed here at all. The Red, Runs, Red Ruins software team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. Therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw with something more useful. No. Let him smoke. Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. I didn't need that reminder. You I tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm? Yes, I will. <laughs> Take that. Okay, I kind of knew that was coming. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Um... I don't want to get hit on the head again. Just tell him. The year is 2073, somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. A ship. A ship named... Unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. So I wonder having, why they're having trouble getting people to put their ads there. That's not a very appealing... Advertisement. Oh, Dad. Dad has passed. But at least we have his pet chicken. Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe Activists. Activists. Promise new terrorist attacks. Seems bad. Bad. Oh, oh. Yep, this is bad. Oh my. Chapter one. Lost in space. How original. What an original name for chapter one. Nicely done. Very creative. You lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Okay. Okay. Sleeping in bed will restore health. We couldn't have created anything more trite. Clearly. Oh, that's this is the uh, invincible. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Uh, I can read. Uh, use. Okay. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. All right, we'll do that. Let's stop the gas leak by picking up. Whoops. I guess we're weightless. Okay. Oh my gosh. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Take out the chewing gum from your pocket. Okay, I'll put that in my... Have to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Pick that in my slot there, and plug the leak. No, not with the... Well, okay, we, we can plug it with the chicken, but... To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Yes, that's a problem because the chicken has a butthole. So that's not going to work. 
How about we act, take the gum and use that to plug the leak? You deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Thank you. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. All right. So let's check out the uh, interphone. Well, first we examine. Hmm. Miss September. Okay, a typical calendar with girls. Miss September, Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache, and my ass got some wide stripes from Grandpa's belt after this incident. We'll just leave it there. This is the water closet. The disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Well, that doesn't sound good. This is our little crafting table here. Ooh, a brill drill blueprint. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints. With them, even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if it had the will and a Phillips head screwdriver. I guess I take you it. Discover a new blueprint of an item. It is automatically added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources. Probably. All right, now there's a lot of stuff to examine here, and all of it is clever and entertaining. What a loud headline but the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. Okay. Uh, so all this stuff is is interesting to look at and so on, but we're not going to... Oops, I, picked, I didn't mean to pick that up. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're not going to look at every single last one here. They're, they're just for entertainment value, I think. I don't think there's anything useful there. What is useful, however, is... Well, there's some beer. Quick Belch beer. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label. Although he always denied and r denied it and wrinkled his face while choking on this crap. It's Chick Chicky Belch. Chicky Belch Dark. 500 milliliters. I don't know if that'll come in handy or not, but we'll pick it up anyway. This looks like it'll come in handy. That's some alcohol. Right. And this will, in fact, come in handy. This is a survival guide, and if you're new to the game, you want to take this and put it in the VHS player here and watch it, because that's going to give you some intro. You know what? It's, it's kind of entertaining. Should we? Let's give it a watch. What? To pee or not to pee? Space, so dangerous, so unpredictable, just like your bladder. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most inopportune moment. This is wrong. Tip two, try to keep it all in. A thoughtless waste of resources can lead you to death. I'm... I'm... Yeah, peeing on electrical equipment is not good. Explore the environment in search of aids or an analog of your most valuable equipment. Showing you you can make stuff at the little workbench there. And go in search of more toilets. This is wrong. Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Do not grab the exposed wire. That's wrong. Thankfully, we have an indestructible chicken we can use to deactivate it. With due luck and diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or blah blah, you missed it. Yay, well done. You learned how to pee effectively, or at least safely if not hygienically. All right. Great. Now, on to our actual thing, which is to use the interphone. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. All right. This is not working. We have to go fix it. More fun stuff to read here. We're not going to read it, all of these little posts here. Uh, this is storage up here, if you need to store stuff, which, in fact, we picked up a lot of stuff that we don't need, so we're going to drop some of it. 
and store the rest of it. I don't... Let's transfer that because I don't know if we need it. Is that still playing? Can we make it stop? Remove videotape. Alright, I think that's just about everything we can do in here right now. So let's get out into space. And try to fix the antenna. <gasps> a source space. of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful, the radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. We picked up some floating frozen blobs of ice here. And food. We can now make a bottle of water, and we could probably make a, a nutrient food pack the type thing. The presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frost work, which can lead to visibility deterioration. Man, that guy's reading really fast. And reading fast is a good thing if it doesn't sound like you're reading fast. All right, our oxygen's not unlimited. Let's get back inside. Our breath has recharged. Now, yeah, you can expand your, your breath suit capabilities. Uh, for now, let's head over here to the busted... That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have Yay. broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Um, more food stuff food stuff. There's something else we have to do out here on the outside of the spaceship, but let's recharge our oxygen first. It sure is pretty. Sure is a pretty looking game. Being out here in space. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. Um, let's hope not. We don't have five years to spend on this. But we have picked up enough food and frozen water now that we can... Remember that you are still able to become depressed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can now actually try out the workbench at this point because we have enough to make a nutrition packet from nutritious goo, which is the green stuff we picked up, and ice, which is the blue stuff we picked up. So let's make one of those. And let's make ourselves a bottle of water from the ice. We need two pieces of ice to make a bottle of water. Let's make a couple of those. Each bottle of water quenches 30 uh, thirst, and each nutrition package quenches 25 hunger. Uh, let's make maybe one more of these, and one more water. Okay, now under equipment items, no wait. Cryptographic debugging station. We need two pieces of metal and one piece of wire to create that. We've got one piece of metal right now, so we need another one, and we need to find some wire. So we can find little balls of, wire, of metal floating around, or there are these big ones here that you can break down once you have a tool, but we don't have a tool with which to break it down yet. And here is some copper Judging wire. By the primary analysis of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Hmm. Oh, here's some little balls of metal. Okay, now we have everything we need to make our debugging station, I think. Unless we needed more than one wire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So once you run out of oxygen you start taking damage, your health starts going down, and if your health goes all the way down, you die! And you can regain health. A mug. Grandpa's mug! Aww. We'll pick that up. Um, if you're uh, to regain health, you lie down on the bed and sleep for a while. 
and your food and your water will go down while you're on the bed. Ooh. These guys dieted. He dieted. We can grab him and move him around if we want. We don't really want to. Why would you want to drag a corpse around? Yeah, 50 seconds of oxygen is not much, so we, we got to find a way to expand our oxygen uh, stores here. Honey? These are little blobs of honey. Um, yeah, these guys... Oh, dear. That's not good. Um, we're going to run out of oxygen. We'll come back and look at them in a second. There's... I feel like there should be a way to, to move faster. I don't... I think this is our top speed right now. Just barely. It back. All right, well, let's go ahead and build the debugging station, which I think we can build now. Under equipment, tools, there's the debugging station. Create that. Okay, and move it into one of our slots. And then if you're sure up. that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. You're welcome. Oh, that's one way to debug a station. Pound on it with something. Let's try calling for help now. Attention survivors, the rescue shuttle Hope was sent for you from the nearest evacuation point. Due to a slight arrival time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some craft imposed by the developers. Okay. Uh, that crap would be... Um... Crap imposed by the developers. A great example of contemporary art, a thing to be proud of. It can beautify any interior, be it a hanger, a paperweight, a friend, or a pet. Uh, it is required for the decoration of a boring home. It is obtained via burst of creativity through crafting. What do we need to craft that? Oh, here's some stuff we need. We need a handy scrapper, which we can make with three metal. And we need a drill which we can make with this other stuff, refined metal, battery, thick electrical tape. Oh, babe, incredible, survived one. I see your avatar online. Okay. Uh, objects. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. Indeed, my hormonal system was interested in that babe. Crap imposed by the developers. I need refined metal times two, wire, and thick electrical tape. Uh, thick electrical tape, I think, comes from plastic. Need plastic for that. Uh, but before we can obtain plastic, we need the handy scrapper. Before we can make the handy scrapper, we need some more little pieces of metal. Like this. Any more? This. And maybe one more. some off there, but I think that's going to be out of reach for us. we got to stay pretty close to the life pod at the beginning here until we're able to expand our capabilities. Alright, that's three. And then we needed electrical tape, which comes from... No, no. We did... did we, no. What did we need for the scrapper again? Shoot. tools. Oh, okay, we can make our handy scrapper. It just needs three metal. In fact, I have enough to make two of them, and they run out of... the durability goes down pretty quickly, so why don't we go ahead and make two of these right now. And then put them in our inventory Your slots. Your has a very sweet accent, causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. So we picked up some honey there, which means we can now create a sweet package, which gives us more... which replenishes more hun hunger, but lowers our thirst. 
I don't know if that's a good trade-off or not, and we don't really need it yet. Although we are running a little low, looking down here on the lower left-hand corner at our eat and drink gauges, we could afford to eat and drink some stuff. So let's do that. And drink a bunch of water. Okay. Back up in better shape now. We have our handy scrapper. Yeah, and we can beat on stuff. To pick up more stuff. Oh, I'm not good at flying around in space. Stop it. Goodness. Oh, sorry. That probably made you feel a little sick. Uh, these are balls of ice that you can break down for water. Uh, I don't want to get too far from the pod because I don't want lost the pod. Where's the pod? All right. Um, let's just work our way out from the pod here. Let's make sure we got everything that we can get from this first bit of debris here. There's a another alcohol bottle. These are water bottles we could actually use. That was a nutrition pack. Food pack. More dead people. Break this container. See what's inside. Electrical tape, a battery, and some metal. Meep, meep, meep. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can break these little things. Tape recorder for copper wire, plastic, and something else, and another battery. Oh, that's fabric just floating in space. I can take that. I don't want to say it's a shame that such a beautiful, haunting kind of environment is is dedicated to a humor game, a humorous game. You know, that's that's fine, but you know, maybe maybe actually the the juxtaposition of of the two elements is is a good thing. Looks like, looks like big blobs of liquid froze as they were expelled. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. Yeah, if you're going to get somebody to read that fast, get somebody with diction and enunciation. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be close. We are ooh, we are gonna have a little trouble. We're probably gonna take a little damage on this one. We're not gonna make it back before we run out of air. Tiny bit of damage. Lost a little bit of health there. All right. I feel like we got everything we were gonna get out of here, but let's just do it one last check. The only stuff we haven't gotten is stuff that has to be broken down. Console for more electrical tape, more batteries, more electrical tape. Ooh, a coffin. More metal. A standard Open. coffin of the global funeral agency. Open the coffin. The coffin will be considered an offense and an act of vandalism. But okay. No one will judge you if you die. Okay, we we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna open the coffin. So you can expand your own personal oxygen. You can also learn blueprints to build these little oxygen stations that you can plop down wherever you want to expand the range you can move away from the ship or the life pod. Um, but we're not really... Toilets detected. Some of our clients are very sensitive about toilet talk and therefore we included a dictionary filter which will replace the word feces with the word joy. 
Judging by the amount of joy around, this is the debris of the liner's public toilet. This means that there may be large reserves of water from the shower tanks nearby. The main thing is not to confuse them with liquid waste tanks. Examine the dead hamster, I poor fellow. Although this toilet doesn't look like a man robot. For some reason, there have always been a lot of these rodents, whether they ran away or multiplied, or blah, blah, blah. I don't... I didn't get to finish it. That disappeared too quickly. Alright, so what is our goal here? Um, what are we supposed to be doing right now? First of all, what's this? No suitable items to put in the stand. Okay. Uh, we're supposed to be building that thing that we may be able to build now. That useless thing that it wanted us to build. This thing. We need thick electrical tape, which I think is made from rubber. And refined metal, which is made from the metal. So I think we should be able to actually do that. Resources. Thick electrical tape. Two times rubber to make that. Let's make a couple of those, maybe. And some refined metal. And yellowish water, made from ordinary water. Mm-hmm. So we picked up some... We can make pea water. I'm not sure why you'd want to make pea water. Oh, we need two refined metal. Resources. Refined metal. Ah, do I need more metal? I need one more little piece of metal. Hold on. Almost there. Babe, forgive my accent. Humanity fly all over the galaxy, but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? Uh, I guess... If you want me to, I'll come save you. All right, picked up some fabric, picked up some more metal. And we need our second handy scrapper now. Run out of air here in a second. Okay, one more piece of refined metal. Uh, resources, refined metal. Okay, now we should be able to make that weird thing that they wanted us to make for no particular reason. Crap imposed by the developers. All right, we made the crap imposed by the developer and we're carrying around a dead hamster. I, I don't know why we're carrying around a dead hamster or grandpa's mug. Probably just drop grandpa's mug. And the rest of this stuff. We may need the dead hamster at some point. I don't know. Guess we'll hold on to that. Um, Alright, so what do we do with the crap imposed by the developers? Let's put it in slot 2 and put the handy scrapper in slot 1. And now use... I've completed the entire unique something or other. 9 million experience points or something. Received the, the title of simulation is complete. He's too fast. I can't read these. While you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Um. So it just wanted us to make something to. Are we supposed to mount this somewhere or what? It's, it's just decoration. I'm not sh sure what we're supposed to do with it. Install it in the stand? No? We can hit ourselves with it, which I don't think sounds like the best idea. Um, should we just try to install it here on the outside of our thing for no particular reason? I have, I have no idea what that was about. All right, so what? So what were we supposed to do next? That all happened really quickly. Babe, on my monitor, the signals of the rescue shuttles appeared right at this point, but no one answered. Probably there is danger there, so it's worth to fly. So when she messages us, messages us, sometimes we're getting little markers that we go can go and check out. Um, 
why don't we do that now? Fabric. Um, that marker doesn't seem too far away. Why don't we go see what that is? And by not too far away, I mean it's right at the edge of how far we can travel. This... The largest good. condom in the good world, idea. and also an emission of gas, most likely oxygen, are detected ahead. Oh. The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen state a damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. That's a lot of scanner. Uh, I think if we break that door down, we... Oh, jeez, I completely lost... Uh, if we break that door down, we can get in there and recharge our oxygen, but I don't, I, it didn't look like we were going to make it through the door before our oxygen ran out, so I think we should just head back to our ship. Yeah, taking some damage now. Wow, we, we took, we took about 15% damage there. Uh, so this is the world's largest condom over here. We should probably have checked that out first. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. Good. So now we can construct oxygen balloons to extend our time and space a bit. Uh, but I also want to break through that door we started banging on next to get in there. That'll give us another little waypoint where we can recharge our oxygen, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. The music's lovely. The visuals are lovely. The humor, you know, that's that's an individual thing. I don't, I don't really find toilet humor that entertaining anymore at my age. But maybe you do. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna this this tool is gonna break before we make it through the door. So now we got to go back and make another tool. Ah, it's a long way back. We're going to take more damage here. Flying like Superman. Ooh, we're taking a lot of damage. All right. Um, let's eat and drink stuff. Oh, I just dropped that instead of drinking it. Didn't I drop it? I think I dropped one of those, but I don't see it on the ground. Babe, I have big bust and slender legs. I wanted you to know and motivate to save me. Yeah. Uh, equipment, tools, handy scrapper. Let's make, can we make two again? No, we don't have enough metal. Need more metal. But let us finish our little task that we've been at for quite some time now, which is to get into that next room. So that the icon that you see there is like is like balloons, like oxygen balloons. So that's where you can I mean, no such thing as oxygen balloons. Certainly not on strings, but it means that you can replenish your oxygen there. Okay. There can be no mistake here. This is a working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Great. So we can take this oxygen station and combined with the giant condom, I think we can You must carefully remove the station by removing two You must carefully remove the station by removing two screws. Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. <laughs> All right. So now we can make these little stations that you can put down as waypoints to refill your oxygen, which is good. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Electricity, we need to short out that electrical short. 
Um, and we can do that with our invulnerable chicken. Come here, chicken. Good. Now we can get in there. Extract the wiring. I think that's all you can do. Extract the rubber. But we need shears to do that, which we haven't made any yet. Alright. I think that's all there is to do in this room. But we can always come back here and replenish our oxygen now. So that's good. All right, well, I said I was going to do these in little bite-sized increments, and that feels bite-sized. feels like a good bite. Um, let me know down in the comments or by leaving a like and subscribing, or both, if you want to see more Breath Edge. It's uh, an interesting little game. And this is a short, I think you can, I mean, you can make it through this initial chapter. I saw a speed run that was like 20 minutes or something. But we'll probably spend a couple of hours doing this. And, uh, you know, maybe three or four episodes. If you're interested in watching some more, let me know. Thanks for watching, survivors. Leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe out there.